Zoom vs. Google Meet vs. Facebook's Messenger Rooms, which is the right video chat app for you. Video chatting apps have exploded in popularity over the past two months as the world tries to sit the coronavirus pandemic out in the comfort of their homes. There's always a time limit, room limit, hidden costs, or privacy issues of some kind. Today, we'll walk you through three of the most notable apps, Zoom, Google Meet, and Facebook Messenger Rooms. Zoom Zoom is more popular than ever, but it's not perfect. Zoom is a very effective option, for those who miss their friends, but there are some big caveats, to consider. Zoom offers both free, and paid plans, and using the free version, for long enough might convince you to pay. For free, Zoom meetings can hold up to 100 people and last 40 minutes long. Once the time limit is up, you can just start a new meeting and send the link around to people again, but that does get annoying. It's worth noting that one-on-one -on -one meetings have no time limit in the free version. Even if you don't give Zoom a cent, its best feature is the ability to put silly backgrounds behind you, something you've almost certainly seen on social media recently. Sadly, as Mashable privacy expert Jack Morse has warned since before mass social distancing started, Zoom's data privacy record is grim. Google Meet if you want video calls from a slightly more established brand, Google has your back. You might already know about free Google Hangouts calls, but today we're covering Google Meet. It's supposed to be intended for businesses and educators, but Google is rolling out a free version this month that could be a decent alternative to Zoom. Video calls can accommodate up to 100 people instead of the 25 you get on Hangouts, though, and it offers things like screen sharing and live closed captions for anyone who needs them. The free version will have a 60-minute time limit on calls, but Google isn't enforcing that until after Sept. Paid G Suite plans that include full Meet functionality start at $6 per user per month, but like Zoom, those are really meant for businesses. Last but not least, Google promises strong data privacy in the form of complex meeting codes, meeting encryption, and other niceties. It certainly sounds less leaky than Zoom, but Consumer Reports found that Meet's privacy policy allows for some shady-sounding data collection during video calls. Facebook Messenger Rooms Facebook's video call app is here, and its privacy issues haven't gone away. It's tough to think of a tech company with a more publicly questionable privacy record than Facebook, but that hasn't stopped them from hopping on the video chat train. Facebook Messenger Rooms, which launched late last month, is the company's newest effort. On its merits, Messenger Rooms seems like a totally solid service. Rooms can hold up to 50 people and you can invite anyone to a call with a URL, even if they don't have a Facebook account. Facebook has addressed privacy concerns for messenger rooms, but they haven't gone away. It's a shame that a perfect video call service doesn't exist right now as much we love online town. But Zoom, Google Meet, and Facebook messenger rooms are all worth checking out if your friend group has been struggling to find a solution. Thanks for watching. Please do like, share, and subscribe.